Hi everyone, welcome back to Billy's podcast. In this Sunday session of personal finance and personal awareness, we are going to discuss about uh, usually this is the time when most of the uh, working professionals get their increment. They would have a set of pattern like if they uh, get a 50,000 salary, they will invest uh, 5k in equity, 2k in sip and uh, 2k in savings. Uh, so when they in- get the increment of 10% which is around 5000, how should they realign their uh, investment strategy? Well, This is a very good question. Our friend Mr. Karthi had the same problem, quagmire. Okay. I just spoke to him about it. You will probably see it in one of his videos which he has put up. Where he had some money which was owed to him by the government of India. Hmm. And he thought there's no way he's getting that money. Okay. And it was sitting in an account which he was couldn't reach it. Hmm. And he knew it was there. So he never planned to spend it or use it. Then someone helped him and he's able to now reach that money and the money has come to him. Hmm. So he says, what should I do with that money? Hmm. So I'm giving him investment ideas. Then he's okay. like, I might need it in three months. <laughs> mm, so nice. it's a common problem. Mm. Right now you're living in a salary of 50,000 50, rupees yeah. and you're happy. You know? mm. Let's say you assume you're happy. You're adequately yeah. living your life and you managed to take some of that 50,000 and also invest. Mm. You got a new increment yeah. and you got 55 now and you're mm. like, huh. Oh. Mm. Normal tendency is immediately to spread your wings a little more yeah. and raise your ex- expectation. Maybe say, okay, maybe we need to buy a new washing machine. Mm. We need to buy a new fridge. The same fridge okay. is okay last month, suddenly now looks old. Mm. You know, same phone might look old. Yeah, old looks old, you know. Mm. So I understand that. Mm. I would advise you to be prudent mm. and take the road less traveled, like mm. you say, and reevaluate your financial goals, right? Do you have any major purchase coming? Okay. Or what is your retirement plan? What have mm. you done? And... Uh, Having this higher income now, this mm. additional 5,000 rupees, is it going to help in any of it? Let's say you have a major purchase coming that you and your wife have been discussing okay. of buying, you know, a car mm. three years from now. Mm. Maybe this 5,000 rupees, you can start saving mm. it towards buying that new car. Okay. So you open a SIP saying car mm. and you put this 5,000 rupees and let it accumulate for three years when you do decide to buy the car. So at the time, three years from now, that 5,000 rupees would have grown mm. in the market. Yeah. So lower your car purchase, maybe you can buy within that budget mm. or at least lower the car loan you'll have to take at that point in time. So it'll help you. That is one way of looking at it. The other is saying, okay, I'm going to retire, mm. you know, 30 years from now, 35 years from now. So it's high time I start putting a retirement plan. Let this 5,000 rupees okay. be the first thing which I put. So 30 years from now when I retire, this 5,000 rupees every month will have compounded at least become mm. 40, 50 lakhs mm. or even a crore by then. You know, I can retire. That is the way I wanted to approach this. Okay. Second thing is review the budget. So what does this 5% increment mean? Okay. Without compromising on anything, your emergency funds, how do you have? Because a lot of people wouldn't have done emergency mm. funds. You're newly married. You know, you're not thought yeah. of it. So think of that. Think of accumulating some gold. Think of your health mm-hmm. insurance. If you're not done this, you know, maybe you can get those things ticked off before you start investing. And in terms of investing, what should you be investing in? Is the next question. If you are like you, mm. you have a bit of knowledge in stocks. Yeah. You know how to evaluate stocks. Mm. And you've been doing it for some time. Yes. You're fairly confident. Mm. So then you can buy individual companies. Mm. 5,000 okay. rupees is extra kitty. Like you like mm. shopping. Mm. So instead of shopping out in clothes, you go stock shopping. You mm. enjoy stocks. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll feel nice mm. that you're buying some company stocks. It gives you some motivation. You can buy stocks. You can increase gold. If you don't have gold, now the gold price is corrected recently. Mm. You're look at, looking at yeah. some gold. If you don't know any of this, you're know, like a layman like our friend Karthi, mm. then just put passive into Nifty 50 yeah. and forget about it. This is what my advice would be. And of course, keep your portfolio diversified. Like I was telling Karthi, mm. try and accumulate in your passive funds up to 1 lakh. Okay. When you hit 1 lakh, pull it out. Yes. Buy a bond. From the bond, you'll get interest. Mm. Sip again. Okay. Add that interest with the other 5,000 which you have I've already been investing now. Start, you'll mm. uh, get reached that 1 lakh sooner and sooner. Mm. So slowly you'll be accumulating a portfolio of 10 lakh to 11 lakhs in bonds. Yeah. The interest from that itself will outweigh this 5,000 rupees you put in. Sooner or later, this will become nothing. Okay. Most importantly, talk to a financial planner. Mm. Right? Even if you are a financial planner yourself, like a doctor cannot be his own doctor mm. because of bias. <laughs> so even financial planners require financial planners. Mm. So it's always good to talk to somebody else. Just to get an objective opinion. Mm. Because... Like I said, like Charlie says, we all have biases. We all think we're very mm, smart. Mm. Till we are proven we're not. Yeah. So this is my advice. Okay. So the priority should be if they have the market knowledge, they can think of the equity shares. Mm. And if they don't have the market knowledge, they should invest in mutual funds. And uh, how about the gold? Gold. Like I said, mm. 400 grams should be a target. Okay. You and your wife together. Yes. Beyond 400 grams, you will not mm. need. 
this is only for emergency because gold is not an investment class so in case something happens you have gold mm. so more than 400 grams of gold you don't need okay no emergency in your lifetime you will need mm. for more than 400 grams of gold. so if you have reached already you are, you have collected 400 grams stop you don't need mm. to invest in gold if you are starting in 0 grams mm. then lean on gold heavily till you reach okay 400 grams and then do not take your wife's gold as your gold mm. rule number 1 okay whatever your mother has left gold it's not your gold mm. you have to see your own gold arun's gold mm. if it's at zero start buying mm. if you have accumulated few grams in your life so far keep adding okay okay and then they should think of the buying cars and other travel expenses and all they can look at uh, this should be their priority yes okay and that too my rule is always save and buy mm. so keep saving if mm. you want travel okay. you want to go to sri lanka for a holiday mm. or go to thailand for a holiday mm. open and sip save when you reach that amount where you can go on a holiday spend i'm not saying don't spend on holiday i'm not saying don't buy a car or buy a phone mm. i'm just saying instead of taking a loan and immediate gratification mm. postpone the gratification by saving collect and then okay. go and enjoy okay. because that way you feel more satisfied mm. we have a sense of achievement mm. you feel more fulfilled okay and when you come back after your holiday there are no bills to pay mm. It's a lovely thing. Yeah. Imagine you go have a beautiful holiday and you come back and the first EMI comes to back. <laughs> and the next day, yeah, the happiness like, will go. Yeah, after three months, you know, holiday is over and holiday memories are over and then mm. honeymoon is over and you're like still paying for it and you'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> Why did I go? I exactly. will think of exactly. that. Exactly. This is true with cars, bikes, phones, mm. computers, washing machines, anything you take. Mm. And now mobile phones, people are crazy yeah. about it. Yeah. So you take a loan and you do this, you feel like crap. Mm. so realize this okay and you've done this mistake enough so why repeat the same mistake mm. only a fool repeats the same mistake over and over again mm. be a smart person and make new mistakes okay. invent something <laughs> okay this session might help with your investment strategy and how should uh, you approach after getting the increment so if you found this video informative and interesting please like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more videos see you in another episode with an interesting topic thanks for watching the video thank you